Hi, and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this video, I will show you how you can create a buttonhole by hand. This is great for people who want to have that authentic handmade buttonhole look for their project, or for someone who has a sewing machine, but it doesn't have the buttonhole stitch capability. Before we get started, let's consider the size of the buttonhole. If you're unsure on how big to make the opening of the buttonhole, a good rule of thumb is making the length 1 8 of an inch bigger than the width of the button. It's a good idea to draw that length, cut it, and then test it with your button. Once you have the right size figured out, then you're ready to start sewing. So let's get started. Whenever you do a buttonhole, whether it be by machine or by hand, so it's a good idea to stabilize the fabric. One way to do this is with interfacing. And as you can see, I already have my fusible interfacing on the wrong side of my fabric. And you're usually going to be going through two layers of fabric, which is why I have this folded in half. And you can see my pretend buttonhole right here. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to draw a box around my buttonhole with my fabric marker and it's going to be 1 8 of an inch all the way around the buttonhole. So here I have my sewing gauge and I'm just going to draw a couple little marks here and then make a line. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm creating a stitch line for myself to use as a guide so then I can then go to my sewing machine and stitch a box around the buttonhole and what this does is it not only keeps the two fabrics together so I have again two layers of fabric so it holds them together so they're not going to be shifting around as you're stitching the buttonhole also it's really good because I'm able to make sure that when I'm stitching my buttonhole stitches they're going to be a consistent length because I'm going to use this stitch line as my guide so I'm gonna go ahead, finish drawing this box, and then I'm gonna to go to my, my machine and I'm gonna stitch right along the stitch line here. Here's my buttonhole so far. I went ahead and stitched a box around the buttonhole. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut the buttonhole open. So you're just gonna cut right along your buttonhole line in the middle there. Now you could go ahead and carefully use scissors to cut that slit. Um, I love using my buttonhole cutter, which I have here. And it's just a simple blade on one end and it has this little wooden block so I don't cut through my table. And basically all I do is press down right on this line right here. So I'm gonna do that. Once you do that, it's also a good idea to use a little bit of the liquid sealant just right on that opening, kind of prevent this area from fraying as you're working with it. So once we have that done, we can then move on to actually starting our stitching for creating the buttonhole. Okay, we're ready to get to sewing here. And uh, what we're gonna do is have our needle and thread here. And if you have beeswax, it's a good idea just to run your thread through it because it not only strengthens your thread for your buttonhole, but also makes it run a little bit more smoothly so it's less likely to get tangled up. And you can get that at any fabric and craft store. So I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm gonna come up from the wrong side of my buttonhole area, so from underneath, and I'm gonna come up as close to this gray stitching line that I had created as I can, pull it up. Now I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go down through the opening of my buttonhole and come up as close to where I just came out, where my thread is coming out, right there. And before I pull it all the way through, pull my needle all the way through, I'm now gonna take this thread, I'm gonna put it behind my needle, and move this one out of the way. So here it is right here, it's behind the needle, and I'm gonna run it underneath the front part of my needle, like this. Hold it with my finger. And I'm holding it with my thumb here just so it doesn't get all balled up and it'll stay nice and smooth as I run it through. And when it gets close, I'm just gonna pull my thread up 
And what it does, it creates a little knot right here at the top where your opening is. So that'll hopefully also keep your buttonhole from fraying any further. So again, I'm gonna come through the opening of the buttonhole and I'm gonna come up right next to that stitch and you wanna get as close to the stitch as you can each time you do it because you want your stitches pretty close together. So again, the thread that had come out earlier, it's gonna be behind the needle and it's gonna go underneath the front. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb. Just get it out of the way there. Pull it through, so I'm keeping it straight by holding it. And I'm gonna pull it up. And it's gonna create a stitch like that. One more time, through the opening, as close to that stitch as I can. The thread is behind the needle. I come forward. I go underneath that front part of the needle. Pull it through. When I get close, I just pull it up. So you see I'm starting to get a series of stitches here. And again, you wanna to try to get them as close as you can together. It just makes it look a little neater. When you get to this edge here, all you're gonna do is just fan out your stitches. So it kinda of looks like a fan. And then continue going straight across. You can fan again on this side and then come straight across on this side. Here's a little bit of a closer look, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Again, I'm gonna go through the buttonhole, so I'm going through both layers of my fabric. I'm gonna bring the point of the needle up next to my gray stitch line, or whatever color your stitch line is. And I'm gonna to try to get it as close as I can get it to the stitches right next to it. Okay, there you go. So you see my thread is running behind my needle on top of the buttonhole. I'm gonna take this, run it underneath this uh, pointy part of the needle. Okay, so now I have it all going behind the needle. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb, bring my needle through. Once I get to that point, I'm just gonna pull it up. And if you look closely, you can, you'll be able to see like a series of knots right along the buttonhole opening. So one more time through the buttonhole opening, come up next to my stitch, the thread behind the needle, underneath the front of the needle, hold it with my thumb so it doesn't get in to a tangle, pull it through, pull up. And again, when you finish, you just put your needle through the buttonhole opening, flip it over and do your knot on the wrong side so we don't have to see that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this and then show you the end product. And here we have our finished buttonhole. It's definitely a lot harder than it looks in terms of getting it to look perfect and very professional looking. So I definitely recommend practicing on scraps of fabric before trying it on your finished project. You also want to test it with your buttons to make sure it's still gonna fit properly. But essentially, that's how you create a buttonhole.